Hello there, my name is Todd Conaway and I am going to be your instructor for Photoshop Elements uh, this semester. Uh, the first thing I want to do here uh, is review a little bit of what we've covered in class uh, and I'm going to do that in two videos. Uh, the first one here is just going to introduce you to the two interfaces of Elements. Uh, one is an organizer and one is the editor. Um, and uh, I'm also going to show you here how to get uh, images from your uh, camera or a USB drive of some kind uh, onto uh, into Elements. So what you're looking at here is the editor, um, and there's absolutely nothing in here right now. Um, I have a brand new install of this uh, on a laptop that I have. So. Uh, we can kind of start at the very beginning. So um, the first thing I'm going to do here is uh, plug in a USB drive that has uh, some pictures on it. And you'll see that uh, on a PC you get this, uh, what do you want to do with this stuff? And I'm going to select Organize and Edit here uh, using Photoshop Elements Organizer. When I select that, I am going to get a dialog box that says, hey, what do you want to do with all these pictures? Um, and it shows where these photos are coming from. In this case, it's this USB drive. Um, and there are four pictures there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just leave it uh, by default going into my, pic my uh, pictures folder on the computer. But you can change that by selecting the Browse button here. Um, you can create a subfolder for all these, and you can create a custom name. For example, um, these pictures are all of the Grand Canyon, so I am going to type Grand Canyon here, and what it's going to do is create files that say Grand Canyon underscore uh, zero. Since there's only four, I'm going to change this five to a one. And that way, it'll just be um, the extension plus the number. So um, pretty simple here. Uh, you can you can also have just dates when it was taken, and you can have those done by months and days or years and dates. Um, you can also have a uh, the dates and a custom name for it. So there's a whole lot of options here uh, as far as how you want to name these, and we're going to talk at length about organize, organizing stuff in class. So um, one thing you might want to do too is after copying, do not delete the originals. Uh, you can go ahead and do that manually, um, or you can clean off the, the pictures from that card by um, selecting after copying, delete the originals. So however you'd like to do that. So I'm going to select Get Media. So it's going to get those images. Um, you, can, you can choose here to show them in, in this browser interface, the, the organizer. And if you select yes, it'll always do this. So you know, you're going to get these two items. Remember, in any dialog box, you get the don't show again option. So you can um, click don't show again if you know that this is what you want to do each time. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. So here are the four pictures uh, in the organizer. And, um, you know, I, I, this could have been, you know, 80 pictures coming off of a camera, um, and it could have been uh, something off of an SD card, uh, depending on how you hook up your camera to your computer or whether you take the card out and put it into the card reader on the computer. There's an awful lot of variables here, so uh, this is just one of them. So this is the editor mode, and you can see that uh, you've got a lot of options up at the cross in the menu. Uh, we have some a search feature here, and we can change the size of these thumbnails over here. We can make them one at a time. Um, lots of different options here. You can look at them from the oldest first. A couple. Uh, or the newest first, um, and and there's a few more options that we're going to talk about in class here, um, uh, including how to tag these pictures, how to uh, give them star ratings, 
and then how to organize them uh, in albums. So tags, albums, and uh, ratings are, are a few things in the organizer that we're going to look at in class. But what I did just now was get some pictures off of a card, or in this case a USB drive, into the Photoshop Elements Organizer. So that's kind of step one, uh, how things go here. The next uh, video we're going to do is uh, going to look at the editor interface, because uh, there's kind of two pieces to Photoshop Elements. There's the organizer, and then there's the um, uh, editor. So what I'm going to do to prove that to you is I'm going to go ahead and close this, and I'm going to start Photoshop Elements, and you will see that default window that says, what do you want to do? Do you want to organize your pictures, or do you want to edit them? If I click on Organize, it's going to take me to that organizer I was just in. If I wanted to edit them, I would have selected Edit, and that's what we're going to do next.